today's spooktacular spot. Spot's having a look at the trash pack. Gross Zombies Rotten Coffin Collector's Tin. Spot, I believe, has already had a look at this on the regular channel. But it was Halloween. Why not? We, of course, have to cover this during the month of Spottober as well. Uh, down below it says two exclusive zombie trashies inside. It's recommended for ages 5 and up. And this is a tin. Hello? Hello? No answer. Uh, it is recommended for 5 and up. On the side, Rotten Series. 60 to collect, to collect and swap. And then on the back, I like the look of this mushroom. I'm not really sure what's going on here. He died look, looking like he was in the middle of a break dance contest. But let's go ahead and we'll take the wrap off here. I'm gonna reach off camera to my knife. And we're gonna go ahead and cut the tape very carefully. Of course, you don't wanna cut yourself. That's one scare that you can't afford having at Halloween. Always be careful. A tip my hat if I if I had one. Tip my hat to the folks over at, at Moose Toys. They always really find clever and unique ways to display and sell their toys. And this creepy casket of trash packs is so cool. How cool? Very cool. I'll go ahead and cut the plastic as well. Take this completely off. You don't need it. In fact, I'm going to take it, throw it into the black hole. It's gone. We're never going to see it again. The coffin is all raised. So even like all the little critters here are raised. If you guys can see there, it is a raised surface. That's very cool. Let's go ahead and open up the casket. I need to make some dramatic sounds. So it's like... Okay, that's enough. Inside, we are only treated to two trash packs. Let's go ahead and put that there like really fun. Like it's been opened. Let's try not to drop it either. There we go. That kind of looks creepy and cool. So we got two coffins inside. I do believe I did this for on the main channel as well. If I haven't, hey, there you go. This is for you. This is for you, everyone following me on the extra spot. Got a little VIP there. We just need whistle rings. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the first one. Open up the first trash pack. I have to get my fingernail in there. And fittingly, for Halloween, we got ourselves... It looks like a bucket or a pail, but it also kind of looks like Frankenstein's monster. That's very cool. I like that. I love the coloring, too. It's like slimy. It looks like it should be wet and gross. I can assure you, though, it's not. It's got that flat top like it should be, or like a Frankenstein's monster. But again, it's just like slime. It's just a big pail of slime. <laughs> That's very cool. Uh, the downside, though, I guess to anything, if, if I was to critique this set, the, the real scare is the fact that you don't get very many trash packs inside. You only get two. I would hope for something like this, you would get a lot more, but no, you only get two. Let's go ahead and open up the second casket. Don't worry, I don't have to make the noise. For those who, di who did not enjoy going through that whole ordeal of listening to me making the noise, I won't do it this time. Next time we, uh, this time, not next time, this time we got ourselves a mushroom. Again, very slimy looking. Same color almost as Frankie. Go ahead there, there's a comparison with the two. Same color, really, other than this one has a cap. Would love Nintendo to do like a Nintendo Mario Halloween spooky game where you'd have like these zombie mushrooms. It would never happen. Nintendo's too all about, you know, flowers and rainbows and no, no uh, cloudy days for Nintendo. But that'd be kind of cool if they incorporated that. Uh, both pieces are super squishy. Beep, 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 beep. And they have holes on the bottom of their fingers. Sometimes it's fun to squeeze it against your thumb and pull it off. And you can hear like little popping sounds. But when you're finished, they can go back into their little caskets. The caskets, uh, I do also believe, glow in the dark. And then when you're finished that, 
the smaller caskets can go inside the larger caskets. Uh, above that, you can also put all your other trashies that you collect. And you can hold a lot, really. All things considered, there's a lot you can put inside this tin casket. Tin casket's also perfect for hiding snacks, spare change, unwanted dark souls. You can put that in there as well. A very fun little tin. If you love trashies, I mean, this tin just just screams Halloween. It also screams sick breakdancing competitions, which I guess the skeleton has died from. Today's spooktacular spot, Spot was having a look at the Trash Pack Casket Coffin Tins. Very cool, very gross, very fun. Stay tuned, guys. Don't be going anywhere. No, no, don't be going anywhere. Spot still got tons of spooky spots lined up for the rest of Spottober. Stay tuned for those. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Woo.